rise and shine, it's Vlogmas time. <laughs> channel we are starting vlogmas oh my gosh i cannot believe it um i just had a fabulous morning i really set the vibes my eyes cracked open it's december 1st michael will christmas music was on yule log was on you guys saw that whole bit you know i had to get in the vibes got my vlogmas sweatsuit on from shop alicia marie she's the best it literally says like vlogmas class of 2021 genius um, but yeah, hey, what's up? My name is Danielle. I moved to New York City in August and now I'm doing content creation a full time and I'm here and I'm ready to do vlogmas. It's so crazy because I graduated from UGA, University of Georgia in May and I've done vlogmas the past few years and I was in school. I was during finals. So it's so exciting to finally get to do vlogmas and be in the city and like truly get to put my my all into it so but i wanted to kind of explain to you guys what i'm going to be doing for vlogmas this year um because i kind of toyed with some different ideas and this is what i concluded on i wanted to do vlogmas obviously because i live in new york city christmas in new york it's so magical you guys know if you know me you know how much i love the holidays like it obviously so many people do but i feel like i truly put my all into it and it just puts me in a good mood and i like to have that come across in my vlogs so we're gonna be doing Vlogmas for 15 days. And I'm gonna explain why. So from today, December 1st to December 15th, I'm going to be in New York City for Christmas, for the holidays. And then on December 15th evening, I am flying home to Tampa, Florida, and I'll be home for about two weeks for the holidays. Um, and Florida is just not as festive. We make it festive for sure. But I always struggle when I go home because I want to spend time with my family and my Wi-Fi, you guys, at my house is so slow. Here, I upload a video. It goes up in 60 seconds. At home, it takes like eight hours. And that just wasn't going to work for Vlogmas and it always puts me in a bad mood. And it's just, it's not what I want. So I wanted to give my all for 15 days. So we are calling this Christmas in New York. And it's going to be freaking epic, honestly. You guys saw the intro. Shout out to my friend Gabby for making that intro for me. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And then when I do go home, I will be vlogging. It's just gonna be like weekend vlogs or week in my life vlogs or days in my life. We're still gonna be vlogging all December, but it's just gonna be more, um, it's not gonna be like everyday consistent. And that's not because I'm lazy. It's just because I want to spend time with my family when I'm at home and I will be vlogging, but I, you guys get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, happy Vlogmas. Christmas in New York, Vlogmas in New York. We're making it a series. I'm so excited to take you guys along. Um, I've had the most amazing morning. Last night, me, Ryan, Katie, and Colby went to the Luke Combs concert at Madison Square Garden. I have never been in a more happy arena. Like everyone was just so happy to be there. He's such a great performer. It was so much fun. And then last night, Ryan and I made dinner together. It was just a good vibe. But now, guys, I got back from Tampa for Thanksgiving on Monday night. Today's uh, Wednesday. I haven't unpacked my suitcase, so that's something we need to do today. My sink is filled of dishes to the top because we, like, made dinner and then rushed out to go to the concert last night. And I just need to get my life together before we get started with the rest of the day. So you guys are going to come along. I have to make my bed, all that. I love a good cleaning montage. I know you guys do, too. So we're gonna do that, but first, my Spotify wrapped came out and I have to see. Okay, I've literally been waiting to do this on the vlog. Also, I'm drinking day one of my tea from the Puka um, advent calendar. This is a feel new. And it literally said it was like for the morning afters, like going out and I did drink last night. So this is just perfect, a little detox. I'm so excited. I can't believe Spotify wrapped is out on day one of Vlogmas. Literally, this just makes too much sense. Spotify wrapped, baby. Okay, 
Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You're wrapped is here. If 2021 was a movie, you were the main character. Why, thank you, Spotify. The opening credits theme would be Vagabond by Camp. That's such a vibey song. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous what everything's gonna be. The song playing as you face off against your rival dance crew. What's next by Jake? That makes complete sense. The song you playing as you score the game winning point at the buzzer. Oh my gosh, forgot about this song. I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am rich. While everyone was trying to figure out what NFTs were, you were listening to this song on repeat. <laughs> Ends of the Earth by Lord Huron. Oh my gosh, that's on Delaney's Coffee House playlist. I listen to it almost every morning. Oh my gosh, my top songs. Oh, this is interesting. It's literally like the whole Coffee House playlist. Top genres, con contemporary country, pop rap, lo-fi beats. I knew that would happen. Dance pop and indie folk. There was one podcast that lived in your head rent free all year long. The Morning Toast, I knew it. Your top artist was Drake, let's go. I would be disappointed if that wasn't the truth, so. My top artists, Drake, Morgan Wallen, Surfaces, Justin Bieber, and Taylor Swift. Fair enough. Well, that was a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I just had to go through that. I was literally waiting to like vlog it and do it. Even though I know everyone posts their Spotify wrapped, I actually enjoy watching others. I enjoy seeing what other people's like top artist is. All right, it is time. I've been putting it off. It's time to clean the apartment, make the bed. Vibes will just be a lot better after. I'm dreading. I hate unpacking. I don't know who likes unpacking, but yeah, we gotta unload the dishwasher. We gotta load the dishwasher. We gotta wash some dishes. Whew, okay, music and podcasts start now. Let's get after it. Montage, yes. I think it's only appropriate to put my top 21 songs playlist on shuffle. I also can't believe my top genre was country. I'm just like understanding that. quick workout. I'm challenging myself to do just some more workouts in my life. I honestly stopped for a while because I was so busy, but I do have time. So I should go, even if it's just 30 minutes, like this is your sign. So I'm just going to put on, I'll do this little moment today. I'm in a Gymshark vibe. I'm going to wear these Gymshark biker shorts and Gymshark long sleeve shirt. Perfect. Here is the gym fit. And actually Ryan invited me over for lunch today during his lunch break and he's gonna make me lunch Which I don't think he's literally ever done like for lunch. So maybe once or twice, but you know, let's go But first we have to take a ginger shot You guys know the drill Cheers to vlogmas day one. Cheers to you guys. I'm so thankful Also, like so many of you guys are tagging gals on the go podcast and your spotify wrapped. So that's really cool I'm just feeling so thankful and I'm, I posted my apartment tour this morning and that's why I was like on my computer this morning and I got a late start to like starting my vlog because I was like doing so much promo for that and you guys are all loving my apartment tour so if you haven't watched that, that was uploaded yesterday, go check that out but anyways, I love you guys so much and I'm so thankful. Let's get after it. Whew. <laughs> that feels great. thing is though like it's like oh I have to, you know working out it takes so much time out of a day and sometimes it does like if I go to a workout class it does take a little bit more time but like I can I'm so thankful that I have a gym in my building I can go downstairs I can sit there for 10 minutes if I want 
but just something to get my body moving, get those muscles pumping. I just want to motivate you guys because I've been so out of my workout rut. Like even you guys have been asking me like, oh, like have you been going to some spin classes in New York? No, I haven't. And that's okay. I just, I haven't like felt, I haven't felt ready. I want to say I get really anxious about going because I literally used to be a spin instructor and I just feel so out of shape now and I just I'm like I used to be like a front row queen and now I'm just I am nervous to go back because I don't know it's just scary and uh, so I do have a bike downstairs I'm gonna hop on that do some weights or squats or something I don't really know but it's okay it doesn't matter just getting your body moving listening to my Spotify rap playlist I'm just gonna try and do it Guys, I have to admit something. I feel pretty freaking awesome right now, and I can't help but think that has to do with working out. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know that struggle of like not wanting to work out or just making excuses or just being nervous too or feeling like you're out of shape. Like, you have to start somewhere. And somewhere was today for me. Well, I did like a soft launch <laughs> to working out. I hopped on the Peloton when I was at home and it like ignited my love again, but I got like a little nervous. So I was like, oh my gosh, I like, I'm so out of shape. And then today, I feel like every time I get on the bike, it's just gonna be like another progression. So today I did like a double time and I was listening to Meg Thee Stallion and everything was good and I was just feeling myself and I was keeping up and then I only did the bike for 15 minutes and then I did just like some floor workouts and stuff and it was so empowering, like I feel so good and this morning I was so wound up because it, you know, new podcast, new apartment tour, Vlogmas, like Spotify wrapped, like there was so much going on and I was about to make that excuse to not work out and I'm just so happy I did because now I feel good, I just showered, Ryan just said that the lunch is ready, so I'm excited to see what he made for us for lunch. And I just feel good, and like I just put on this little outfit and I feel good, like I feel like my legs are strong now, because sometimes I don't always feel the most confident in like biker shorts. Also, I have to shout out these biker shorts, you guys. I'm just putting them on for the first time. They're like the perfect length. They're from Splits 59 um, off of Revolve. I got them last week. I really like them, because I'm short, so I hate when they go to here, and they pretty much always do, but these are like the perfect length. I might need to buy another pair before they sell out. And I'm wearing, I also got these New Balance 550s. I'm really excited about them. They're the Ami Leon Door ones. So yeah, this is my little outfit to go eat lunch with Ryan. I probably won't be wearing this outfit all day, but it was like ready and so yeah. This is the fit. Go work out. If you're scared, you got this. This is some good music. I'm just like in such a good mood. What's cooking, Ryan? What's cooking, chicken and rice? The classic Ryan meal. I'm so honored to be a part of this. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me over. Of course. Having chicken and rice. You want to show them the outside? I'm going to, yes. Yes. Um, so yes, they have an outdoor area that I have to show you guys. It's really coming along. Um, have, have they seen my place? Have they seen your place? I don't know. Do you want to show them? This is the kitchen. They're a big air fry, air fryer household. Well, the oven doesn't work, so. I've literally never used my oven yet, so. Really? Yeah, so you're not missing out on much, I don't think. And you guys have the air fryer. Mm -hmm. So cool. Then we got the living room. This is like my apartment tour, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is the living room. They've got two couches going here. I love it, a blue and a brown. It's cool that you guys have two couches. Adds more seating. I like them. We got these cool lights, got some artwork. They have this little bar stool thing here, which I think is cool. What's this? A light? Oh, uh, an LED oh, lamp? Yeah, that's Luke's stuff he's just leaving around. Oh, cool. Um, fireball, my gift to them. Little blow up thing, it adds something to the space. They think this is so funny. It's like a kid's rug. I guess the kids' rugs are cheaper and they just thought, you know, a fireball jersey hung up, a little table over there. You guys need some more artwork here for sure. Yeah. TV, stand, and then out here, you guys, while Ryan cleans his room, this is a little outdoor space that they have. It's so cool. I'm seriously obsessed with it. It's actually quite big. 
Ryan got this turf and they laid it out here. They're gonna get some better chairs, I think. Put a plant up, hang up some lights. It's gonna be a good vibe out here. It's so cool, I can't wait to show you guys the um, progress, but it's so relaxing too. Like it's this little cove, they got so lucky with this little outdoor area. You have to hop through this window, but that's okay. Ryan, can I come to your room? Sure. Here we come. Hey, I think I have shown your room before actually, but yeah. it looks good. Oh, you have new wall art though. We bought this together. <laughs> <laughs> Got some Banksy lookalikes, Bitcoin to the moon. <laughs> love it, this is super cool. I love the shelves up there. This is what I got him for Christmas last year, or I don't know, sometime here for a good time. Ooh, the red lights. Red lights. A vibe, oh, changing the colors. Ooh, kill him. And yeah, this is his little fold down desk where he does a lot of his work. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta close the door. He has to close the door in order to pull his desk down. Guys, he did this all by himself. He like went to Ace Hardware and like built it and did it. But I feel like you work in the living room sometimes too. Yeah, it's a little um, tight here. It is a little tight, but it looks so, I love it. It's so clean and happy and it looks great, Ryan. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, and then that's one of his roommate's rooms. And that's the other. And yeah. Oh, you guys have your Nintendo Wii? It doesn't work yet. We gotta get the uh, adapter. We have to get the adapter. I wanna play. Okay. So fun. Thanks for giving us a little tour, Ryan. No problem. Wait, Ryan, also for the people that might be new here, what's the deal with the Santa hat? Oh, um, after Thanksgiving, gotta wear a Santa hat till Christmas. Heck yeah. Every so day. You every guys, day, every hour of the day. You guys will see this hat a lot. <laughs> he has to wash it every now and then. Yeah, I have a few in rotation. <laughs> <laughs> Looks delicious. Thanks, Ryan. No problem. Back to work he goes. See you later. Yeah. Back at my apartment now. The sun's already starting to go down, I just feel it. I just got a ton of stuff in the mail from all of my spontaneous Black Friday and honestly Cyber Monday purchases. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little try on haul. Let's go. All right guys, the haul is starting now. Um, I just don't know about this turtleneck. First store is Zara. Um, I shopped on Zara on Friday. Disclaimer, also not all of these things I got were discounted. A lot of them were, but a lot of them weren't. That's how Black Friday and Cyber Monday get you. They get you on the website and then you're like, oh, but I do like this too. So yeah, I can't remember what was discounted, what wasn't, and it kind of doesn't matter anymore because it's not discounted anymore, sadly. That's that. I will link as many things down below as I can that I show you guys. I don't know if I'm loving this turtleneck because literally every time I move, it's literally so, like, do you guys see how high this is? Like, that's my chin. Um, and it's just not giving the best vibes, but it's definitely warm. Maybe if I fold it down again. I just wanted like a basic black turtleneck, so that's what this is. And then I got these black, they were described as leather cargo pants. If you guys can see, there's like pockets on the side. They're very cargo pants style. I have trouble with pants from Zara, like getting them to fit correctly. And they're always too long. <laughs> I like these, but then they're like kind of big in the waist. I don't know, but I'll probably wear these with heels. We'll see. Ow. <laughs> Might have to return them, which sounds awful because waiting in line at Zara is not it. Also from Zara, I got these boots. I want another pair of black booties that were pointed because I think booted pointy, booted pointies, pointed booties are so flattering and cute. So I got these, I'm obsessed with them. I haven't tried them on actually yet. So hopefully they're comfortable, but they're kind of like sock booties. They're a little bit stretchier on the top. I guess they're not really sock boots, but you get the idea. The perfect thick heel, super comfortable. Um, I just think these will look really great with jeans or um, faux leather leggings. I think that'll be super flattering. So I'm excited about these. And then from Zara, I got two puffer jackets. They were both on sale. I wanted some long puffers because I have puffers, but I don't have any long ones for, you know, winter time. I have clothes everywhere in my room, don't mind. Um, so the first one I got is this. It's just like a cream color, super thick. And I really just liked everything going on here. So you have the snaps and then it also has a hood which is nice because if it starts raining or I guess snowing, oh my gosh, um, you can just pop the hood on, no problem. You don't have to worry about an umbrella. This feels like waterproof material. Super warm, but you can also, I definitely see myself making this cute with like a, 
flannel underneath and a sweater, like lots of layers. And then if I get super cold, I can literally just zip it all the way up. And then I also got this long black puffer. Um, it's kind of like a quilted material, or not material, but like print. If you guys can see, it's more, um, there are a ton of squares. Love this one. This one doesn't have a hood. I think this one's super chic. Also, it's just super warm. I mean, it's like, it's, it's big, you know? But I feel like the bigger, the better. I feel nice and warm. I've been wanting like a coat like this. And I like had all this pressure on myself. I was like, I need to get like a really nice coat, which I'll get one day. But like, who's to say I can't just get some from Zara that are still not super inexpensive, but they were on sale and they're stylish. Woo! Okay, next door. All right, next up we have aloe, and I got this super cute bag that I always see people carrying around New York City with, and I was like, where did they get that? It's a gift with purchase. So I don't know if that's still going on, because I've seen people with these bags prior to Black Friday. This is so cute. This is like a big tote too. Like if you're having like a sleepover or a beach bag, I don't know, this is just great. So I can't lie, I purposely spent a little bit more money so I could get this tote bag but it's so perfect and you can never have enough totes but what I really want to show you guys are these pants oh my gosh they are so flattering so aloe yoga we love them we know them well they were doing like 20 or 30 percent off site wide so everything was on sale these pants I want to get them in every color because they're like thick leggings which is nice and then the reason I got them <coughs> my mirror they're like split hem at the bottom so cute so it's like yes these are leggings but then fashion um, but I think I'm gonna have to get them hemmed or maybe just hem them myself because <laughs> I mean they are long I mean I would have to wear heels also you could dress these up I mean who's to say you can't wear these on a night on the town you know but yeah I'll link these below for sure because they are so cute but I'm gonna have to take a trip to an, uh, a tailor and lastly from aloe I got this jacket obsessed I had one similar but this is kind of a more upgraded version and a lot comfier and a lot warmer um, I really want to get it in like more colors honestly I wanted to see how I liked this one and then see but oh my gosh it's zippered pockets that's huge so it's another long coat really into the long coats never really purchased them because living in Florida and Georgia I was like okay but now here it's like we need these um, so this is in the color camel had to have it I feel like this is gonna be one that I go for a lot because it just goes with a lot of things. I love this lapel. Oh, it's so soft and comfortable too. Like this is so, like a teddy bear. I feel like I'm hugging Finley. <laughs> As to the last store, I shopped on Revolve. I don't think any of this stuff was discounted, let's be real, but here we are. Um, I got these sunglasses from Les Specs, Les Spec, that I've been looking at for a while and I finally did it. And then I saw this rag and bone scarf that I just had to have. Chunky scarves are in and they keep you warm. So it's just this big gray, I believe it's wool scarf. Very glamorous. Just give me a cup of coffee. I'm walking down New York City. <laughs> I'm being so weird right now. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was really worried about this dress. I didn't know how it would fit, if I'd feel good in it. Oh my gosh. And this was like the cheapest thing I got. It's from Superdown, which is their less expensive brand. This is so flattering. It's this bodycon dress, a little detailing right here, and these feathers. I need a holiday soiree to go to for this. I'm going to one tonight. Well, it's not holiday themed though. Oh my God, this is so cute. If you guys need like a little semi-formal dress, if you're in college or a little, little uh, I don't know, New Year's? This is so cute, I'm obsessed. Everyone needs it, I'm linking it below. You need it right now. Um, this whole outfit, you guys are gonna die. Okay, so first off, we have this top. It's a bodysuit. I knew when I saw it online I had to have it. This is perfect for going out, especially if you live in a colder city. I love this cutout, I, I, I love everything about this. I probably will be wearing this every night from now on. Next up, these pants. I, I've been looking for the perfect like flare faux leather pants that aren't too long because as you guys saw those other pants are long these are it these are perfect a little pricey but man oh man am i glad i got them because they're perfect do you see where they hit if you're tall i wouldn't get these pants actually because they fit me perfectly and they will not fit you in the sense of length but i love how high-waisted it's just like a little zipper 
Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed. These are so flattering. Again, I'll be, I think I'm just gonna wear this outfit every day and call it a day, but I love how it flares. It's so flattering. <sighs> Link below. <laughs> Okay, and then I also got this top. This isn't a bodysuit, it's just a long sleeve, but I love this cutout. This neckline is really, really in right now. I've seen it everywhere. Um, but another just good little going out top. And that's it, that's the haul. I'm gonna put all this clothing away now. I have some emails to get to. This, putting the clothes away is gonna take me a while because to move some hangers around, you guys know the drill. And then we're gonna get ready tonight because um, we're going to the Victor and Rolf flower bomb event. And it's at this uh, really cool venue called the House of Yes, I believe it's in Brooklyn. And it's like a circus bar, I don't really know, but it looks really cool. And um, Ryan's coming too, which is so fun. I love getting to bring him to events. He usually is really busy with work, but he said he could come tonight. So I'm wearing a fun little outfit for that. Brooke's coming, a ton of my friends will be there, so. That'll be fun, but until then, we're just gonna take a little break. Well, you guys are gonna take a break. I'll see you guys in the next clip, but I'm gonna just get my life together. Gossip Girl's on. It's a two cup of coffee kind of day. We're pulling out the Nespresso for this one. I'm feeling a latte, a hot latte. Ooh, or nice. No, hot, I feel like that makes more sense. Tonight's dinner, we're having red lentil pasta with um, some tomato basil sauce. Slim pickings tonight. Hallelujah. Cozy nights, red lentil pasta, yay. All right, here is my little outfit of the night for this Victor and Rolf party. This dress is from Revolve, I'll link it below. It's so comfortable, you just tie it at the waist, super cute. Um, it looks like one of the ones that they have at Aritzia. And then boots, you guys already know my favorite Vince Camuto boots. I literally love them so much, um, Brooke got them too, because they're just so comfortable. I don't know how, because they're like these little heels, but they're so comfortable, so flattering. Just trying to figure out a jacket. I curled my hair. I cannot wait to get my hair done next week though. I'm not happy with the color right now. It's just, I don't know, it's coming in weird. Fixing the extensions, all kinds of things, but anyways. This is the fit, not sure what coat yet. And yeah, Ryan will be here soon, and then we're gonna go. Okay, I guess I haven't had wine in so long. So I like opened a bottle of wine, and I poured Ryan in my glasses, and that's a heavy pour. I really didn't mean it, I like forgot, I literally haven't poured wine in so long. I thought I was just pouring kombucha, like I usually do in my wine glasses. Ryan's here, He's having some lentil Hello. pasta. He made me lunch, so I make him dinner. Cheers! Cheers. Ryan's doing well in work. Yep. We love that. Cheers. We got La Crema. Very um, popular wine company these days. And it's actually Chardonnay, but it tastes more like um, a Sauvignon Blanc. So I just can't get over how big of glasses I just poured. Anyways. We did it. We're back. It was such a fun event. so much fun danced and we got free flower bomb perfume which was really really cool so that is the end of this vlogmas day one hope you guys enjoyed subscribe if you guys are new here and i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> not crazy bye guys